Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 76400, the Hogwarts Carriage Ancestrals. So that came out in the year 2022, came with 121 pieces, and retailed for $20. The set goes along with the Order of the Phoenix Harry Potter movie, so anyway, let's take a closer look at it. Taking a first look at the set, you can see what is included. There is a tree along with a carriage. The tree is kind of representing a part of the Forbidden Forest. It also comes with two minifigures and two Thestral figures. Let's take a closer look at the play features. Starting off with the carriage, it can of course roll because it is a carriage and it has wheels. It uses these nice big wagon wheels, which I did not have before this set. And they actually fit really well and they look pretty accurate to what we see in the film. And they do roll really nicely. And then you can hook up the horse, or the Thestral I should say, to the carriage. And then you can just attach it like this. You can also detach the Thestral from this harness as well if you wanted to. So the way that you remove the harness is you kind of do surgery on the horse and remove this piece. And then you stick this 2x1 dark gray right here in its place. And then you can put the wings back on and your Thestral looks pretty normal except for the fact that there's some random dark gray bricks down there when the whole rest of the horse is black. It looks a little bit odd, but if you keep the wings down, you won't really notice it. But it is a nice feature Lego included there. Taking a look at the carriage, you can sit minifigures in the front in this seating area. You can only fit one even though there are two chairs because Lego chairs, they just don't work. If you try to put too many figures next to each other, their arms will kind of block them from sitting. And then in the back, there is an area where you can sit more minifigures on these benches. And that's pretty nice. There is also a moving door in the back. Doesn't like, it's not like a big door or anything. So a minifigure would definitely just trip and fall. It wouldn't really block them, but it's nice to have there. And there also is some stairs, which are nicely designed and they do fit. It's just, you can't really use them, but it is a very nice look for the carriage. Finally, taking a look at the tree, it does not offer any play features. Sometimes Lego trees will include stud shooters. I don't know why this is like a uniquely Harry Potter thing. Like I know the Dementor set had it and the spider set, like there's just random stud shooters on trees. It's, it's kind of a strange thing, but this tree does not have any of that. It just has a mushroom and a leaf, which are some nice details, but are not really play features. Taking a look at minifigures, first up we have Harry Potter, and he is in this blue school outfit. It is like a sweatshirt over his normal school outfit, and it includes an apple and his normal wand. I think he is exclusive to the set. I mean, the torso isn't that interesting, but I think it is exclusive, and his headpiece and his hair are exactly the same, same like double-sided face. I think the only thing that's really interesting about this minifigure is the torso and I guess the apple, but it is a nice inclusion to get Harry Potter, but it would be cooler to get some other Lego Harry Potter minifigures instead of just, well, Harry Potter, because he's in like every single set. I feel like we could have gotten like Hagrid in the set or something because he cares for the Thestrals. I don't know. It's nice that we got a unique minifigure, but I'm kind of getting sick of Harry Potter. Next up, we have Luna Lovegood, which is probably my favorite minifigure in the set because there's only two. And I think she is unique to this set. I think maybe like the torso is probably the only unique part again, but more unique than Harry Potter, I feel like, because some of the parts are less commonly used. She does have a double-sided face, I think, of her looking scared or interested. Can't really tell. But she does come with a really nice blue satchel piece, which might be exclusive. It looks really nice and fits well with the minifigure. And she comes with this red thing right here. Not really sure what this is supposed to be. I don't remember from the movies, it might be meat or something, but it is some sort of food for the Thestrals. But overall, this is a really nice figure for such a cheap set. Taking a look at the figures in the set, these aren't minifigures, these are figures because I guess they're bigger than minifigures. And this is a Thestral and it looks really good. My only complaint is that dark gray on the bottom, like I mentioned before, it can look really weird. I don't know why they didn't just use black, but yeah, the wings are really nice and the print and mold is really nice as well. I think this isn't exclusive to the set, but it looks really nice, especially those horns on the wings. That's a really nice inclusion. Moving on to what I thought was the main attraction of the set, and that is the baby Thestral, which I think is completely unique to the set, or it was. I think LEGO is releasing a magical like forest set that includes this baby Thestral in it, which is really unfortunate for me because I thought it was going to stay exclusive, and that's one of the main reasons I bought this set. But Besides the exclusivity, I feel like this is a really nice figure here. It has some nice molding and some nice printing uh, for the head and the eyes. So yeah, it's really nice. It is not as good as the bigger Thestral in my opinion, because you know, you can move the wings on the bigger one and there's not much really you can do with this baby Thestral, but it was exclusive for a little while, so lots of people wanted it. The set does include one printed piece and this is this Quibbler magazine, which is really accurate to what we see in the film and I think it looks really cool. 
I'm so glad it isn't a sticker and it's super detailed, like there's sparkles on it and everything. It also has some of those spectacles on the front. It is a really nice printed piece for such a small set. I'm really surprised they put this in there. So value and price per piece. So when this set released in 2022, it retailed for $20 with 121 pieces, which just hearing that, that is awful. Like that is a terrible price per piece ratio, like 121 pieces for $20. That's like 18 cents per piece. But if you actually look at what's included, if you're really in the price per piece, you'll see that there are some bigger pieces like the Thestrals. Those are really big pieces and there are a lot of unique molds and unique prints like the Thestrals. Really, the only example is really the Thestrals. That's probably why it's so expensive. Like if you just look at the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World sets, those are off the charts expensive. What? Just because of those dinosaur, like big fig things are so expensive to make. So I don't think it's the best value, to be honest. Like I bought this for $15 as a sale and I thought I was okay buying it for that. So I'd say $15 is a good value for this. So $20 is a little too expensive. So it's not the best value. So overall, I would say the set is a 7 out of 10. One of the big problems with it, in my opinion, is the price. It's a little too expensive. For $15, it would have probably gotten an 8 out of 10. Still, because I just, I think the tree on the side isn't that interesting. It feels like just a throw in to bump up the price. Like if it wasn't in there, they could have done $15. So like, it's just kind of a strange inclusion. And the carriage build though is actually really good. I do have it in my Hogsmeade Village in my room. You can check that out in my room tour. I think it is a very unique and nice carriage design, especially with those wagon wheels in like that dark silver color. I really do like that. Although the minifigures in the set, this is another bad thing about the set are just not great. The minifigures aren't like the best. The Luna minifigure is pretty good, but that Harry Potter minifigure, I mean, I wish we would have gotten like a Hagrid or something. He is a little bit exclusive though, so that's nice. So overall, I feel like it's a 7 out of 10. It is a pretty good set to pick up just for that carriage and I guess the Thestrals. I'm not the biggest fan of Thestrals, but I think they are done pretty well in here, especially the bigger one. So yeah, overall 7 out of 10 set. So there you have it, guys. That was my review of set number 76400, the Hogwarts carriage and Thestrals. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.